Here's the $42 leak down tester I got on Amazon. Um, the company is called Cheesy, C H E E S E A. And uh, it worked well for my purposes. It's not the greatest product in the world, quality wise, but for the person who does the occasional leak down test, I think it's fine. At least it was for me. It's the exhaust valve you see in the lower right corner going up. So I'm on the exhaust stroke here. I keep on going around. I'm holding on to the... There's the intake. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's the intake valve opening on the top right. Coming up on the compression stroke here. Got the rear wheel off the ground, and I'm holding on to the sprocket rotating it. Bring it carefully up to... Right... That's close enough to top dead center, I think. And for this test, compressor is set to 100 psi. Leak down Chester. I'll attach the air hose to it now. And uh, dial it up so that we're at the zero point. Pull back on the handle here. Pull back and rotate clockwise. Till we get to zero. Now it's a good uh, it's a good practice to. Make sure that that is a consistent zero setting by connecting an air hose to the uh, output of the tester, giving it a few blasts. See it change the setting. So we're going to bring it back to zero again. Blast the um, air attachment. Uh, there we go. Now we're staying at zero, pretty much. Bring it down a little bit more. Oh. Dial it in here. Getting pretty close. A little more. All right. Now we're consistently at zero. Disconnect the air hose. Air sprayer. And... Um, Stop recording while I connect the adapter to the cylinder. All right, now I've got the <clears throat> leak down tester uh, adapter connected to my rear cylinder, which is pretty close to top dead center. And at this point, I would just connect the output, quick disconnect from the uh, leak down tester to this dude. But first, you want to make sure that you don't allow your engine to rotate when the air pressure is applied to the piston, um, which it is inclined to do. So the best thing to do is to sit on the bike and hold down the rear brake, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, and I'm going to pause the video while I do that. Okay, now I'm sitting on the bike with the uh, rear brake applied. And I'm now just going to plug this in. You don't need to see that. And here's my result. You can see that I have somewhere in the range of what, uh, 5% 5, 5 leak down going on in this cylinder. But that's it. That's all there is to doing a leak down test on a Harley. And uh, if I let off the brake, wow. It just pushed that piston down and gave me a nice fat leak. So uh, really important to keep that rear brake applied. That's it.